Here in the wind tunnel we effectively do a simulation of the driving conditions on the road. And this year this wind tunnel is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Our colleagues who are responsible for the performance and fuel consumption of the vehicle always give us very good feedback that our predictions of drag match their expectations. The fundamental difference between electric powertrains and internal combustion engine powertrains is that electric powertrains are much, much more thermally efficient. And for that reason, a much higher proportion of the energy in the battery goes into moving the vehicle and therefore overcoming wind resistance. A further essential fact of electric mobility is that electric powertrains are able to recuperate energy during braking. This means that only a part of the energy which is required to accelerate the vehicle actually gets lost. Some of it can be retrieved. The highlight of the A6 e-tron for me is, of course, at the most fundamental level that we've achieved this really, really good drag coefficient of 0.21, the best of any Audi vehicle ever. It begins with the active inlet shutters at the front of the vehicle. It continues with the air curtains at the sides. Then we have the virtual mirror. The details in the underbody begin at the front of the vehicle. We have the air deflectors upstream of the front wheels. We have the aerodynamically optimized outlet for the cooling air. The whole underbody is of course very flat. It's almost completely closed. With the PPE platform, we were able to realize a very efficient diffuser in the rear end of the vehicle. All of these little details contribute to this fantastic end result. Over the course of the development process of the A6 e-tron Sportback and Avant, we did approximately 3,000 simulations. These 3,000 simulations used approximately 35 million CPU hours. All of these simulations were used hand-in-hand -hand with the wind tunnel optimization. Currently, I would say that modern aerodynamics development is not possible without the use of computer simulations. The use of 3D visualization for aerodynamics is particularly helpful when we want to communicate our results to non-aerodynamicists. We can explain them much more understandably if we use 3D visualization. It's of course in some sense true that there is a fundamental conflict between design and aerodynamics. But I here at Audi over quite a number of years have experienced something different. I experience our designers as people who are very, very interested in progressive technologies. And in the case of this vehicle, they're interested in efficiency and in expressing this efficiency in the aesthetics of the vehicle. I think the important thing to understand is that we aerodynamicists, we are actually not responsible for one single part on the vehicle. There are many, many colleagues in the Technical Development Center who are responsible for all of the parts that we influence as aerodynamicists and there are many of them who helped us during the development of this vehicle to realize our ideas to make the car efficient. Audi, of course, has a long-standing tradition of aerodynamics development in its history. We think back to the 1920s and 30s to the streamlined vehicles of Auto Union, then in more recent history, 1982, the Audi 100C3, came onto the market as the drag coefficient world champion and now in this year we have the Audi A6 e-tron Sportback which is part of this tradition with its drag coefficient of 0.21. Here in the wind tunnel center in our archives we found the original technical report of the development of the Audi 100 C3. In this report, we see how thoroughly and systematically the colleagues of the time went about doing the optimization of that vehicle. 